I mean, just start off by introducing yourself. My name's Erin, I'm 32 and I'm from Worthing. Um, I've been doing judo since I was eight years old, so that's a pretty long time. My name is Chris, uh, I'm one of the instructors at Rising Sun Judo. Uh, hi, I'm Dan Fell, um, I'm a first Dan in judo. I'm Dave, Dave Wright. Uh, together with Chris, we own the Rising Sun Judo Club and run it. Uh, with a lot of help, of course. If you were going to explain what judo is to a child, what would you tell them? Uh, it's two things, I suppose. It's wrestling. Um, and it's probably how to fight reasonably without getting too hurt. What kind of person does judo, in your opinion, from what you've seen? Um, oh, is is I, there a type? I, no, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think there's uh, it, there's people from all walks of life and all sorts. Um, I think generally the the one type that doesn't um, is the school bully. Uh, because if you then offer them the chance to have a go for themselves, uh, they generally don't want to because they like to be bullies and not to meet someone on equal terms. No, I think it's open to all. It's open to all. It really is open to all, isn't it? Mm. I'd, it'd be shameful if it was only open to a certain type of person because it would lead to a very bland training. I mean, what's the point fighting three people exactly the same where you can fight a 120 kilo player, an 80 kilo player that is as fast as, you know, it's just physically fast and you have to try and keep up. Um, so it is, it's open to everybody. All warps. You want to take it nice and slow. You want to. Yeah, he's open to all. Um, ladies, I th I think people sort of write off ladies competition. They say, yeah, it's not much to watch. And I was like, well, you know, you want to watch the ladies middleweights because I'd say that's the certainly the most difficult pull that's ever contested. You can't like the ladies. I'd say is less of a, a predetermined result. Um, so no, it's, I think judo is good for, for both sexes, definitely, definitely. If if they're willing to get you know, uh, you know, get stuck in as it were to the fighting, it's, I think it's great for girls. Great self defence and to build confidence. And what kind of techniques are there in judo? Um, I know you briefly touched on it, but let's go over. Uh, well, I suppose your basic techniques, you know, sort of if you're grouping them, you've got throws where you put somebody on the ground. Uh, then you're going to have holds where you're going to hold them down on the ground and control them. Then you've got your arm locks and strangles. Yeah, I mean, they're the main groups, if you like. What does kata mean? Because what is kata for you? Okay, well, kata, uh, kata means forms. Uh, kata is a, or well, the katas that are mainly referred to in judo are a series of predetermined techniques done between two players in a set order. It's almost like a dance. Uh, and each kata has got a series of techniques that are you know, listed, if you like. You've got one guy attacking and one guy doing the technique. And it's about demonstrating your understanding of judo, I suppose. But there's an awful lot of techniques in kata that are not included in the general gokyo or the syllabus because they're a bit hazardous. So rather than sweep them under the carpet or lose them, they've been kept in kata because there's something to be learnt from them still. Okay, so what's the BJA and the BJC? Uh, British Judo Association is the governing body uh, and British Judo Council is the second largest judo body in Britain and it's affiliated to the BJA. Uh, I started judo within the BJC framework and then uh, many years ago left them and joined the BJA. So uh, I got my third down in the BJC. Uh, when I transferred over to the BJA, um, then I decided it was time that I, I sort of actually ratified it with them. And so <coughs> uh, this was a non-fighting grade by that stage. Uh, and so I did it just on technical. Uh, and my examination lasted two and a quarter hours non-stop. What would technical mean, is in the difference uh, between technical uh, and... There's a set of throws 
uh, well, lots of sets of throws and combinations and holes. Uh, and you have to demonstrate all of those. Uh, and there's various formal forms, kata, as you know it in judo. Um, and I had to do that. And I, I use, ended up using three partners to achieve it all. Uh, and it's just uh, the knowledge of the throws uh, and more significantly the understanding of the throws. The, mm. What's going on here? Where are you gripping? Why are you gripping there? What direction are you pulling and turning? What's happening? Yeah. So it's... Uh, uh, it's in more depth than a, a competitive third dan. Um, that's not to say that they don't need an awful lot of knowledge, um, but there's an added depth for a technical grade yeah. uh, of just actually the understanding of the throw as well as the application of it. Uh, to fight competitively, you have to win. There's two ways of doing it. You can either win competitively, there's two ways of doing it. You can either win 10 fights separately or win five fights in a row but I didn't manage to do my lineup which is your five fights so I managed to gain points over three or four competitions to achieve my down grade so I don't know it's nice to be it's, it's nice to use what you learn in a competitive situation unless you know that it works yeah and uh, what did it mean to you to get your down grade uh, t to me, yeah, to you. Um, to be honest, I, it was on the path that I set out to do. So, I mean, it's a massive step. Something changes when you get it because people look at you differently. But nothing, nothing really changes, but other people's perspective. And you have to carry yourself differently. I feel that you should anyway because you get looked up at. You're no longer part of the class, you're in front of the class, which is a massive step. And uh, um, what did it mean to you to get your downgrade? Um, I'd been trying for it for a long time actually, but I was just unfortunate with grades, like people turning up for competition, because obviously being female and there aren't that many, and people my age do tend to drop out when they start families and things like that. Um, it got a bit easier as I got older because, I, you know, these... Um, you're waiting for people to be old enough to grade with you, that's all really. Um, so yeah, I, was, I was thought to myself, yeah, about time. It wasn't, you know, not in a sort of an egotistical way, it's just that I, I, I'd been very frustrated not being able to grade and I finally did it and got it and I was like... It meant a lot to me because I had an uh, operation on my, second operation on my knee a few years ago, just after I part finished my grade. So it meant a lot to me just to get it finished. Really, yeah, really good because it's about bringing some knowledge back to the club. Uh, and now Cata is on the syllabus. It's even more relevant to help other people do it. And what would you say it is effective for fighting and discipline? Um, what's effective? Yeah, what's effective? <coughs> the well, obviously, there's a formality to judo. And, and children at school and at home don't have to sit down and bow and do as they're told so much. So uh, it brings a sense of discipline into it. Um, in terms of fighting, I think it's um, you have to do it for quite a bit for it to be effective. Um, I, I think I always question the value of, a, <coughs> say, a, a, a six-week cookery course and then you don't do any cooking for five years and expect to turn out a first class meal for 20 people it, it, it can't be done yeah. um, and the same with judo um, it's no use doing six judo lessons and think you can fight because you can't you need to work at it it takes longer and you need to keep going with it okay it was something that someone said to me and it is um, judo is a hidden martial art within the martial art world. It is one of the only sports which you train full contact. There is no halfway measures. You're either gripping hold and throwing someone or you're not touching each other. The thing is, it, it is a hidden gem. I mean, you can stand around, someone can show you a punching technique, um, which will say, this works like this. But how many people in a training class, are you going to want to punch in the face before you decide that they're not going to come back next week? Judo works because 
you can train full contact and you can still go to work the next day. But you know that every technique that you're doing works. It's a working technique. There's, you don't have to go, this will work, this does work. So that's why. And I think the more people that do judo um, will understand uh, in the actual involvement in it. Because it is classed as the gentle way. But anybody who's done judo knows there's, there's not much gentle about it, especially when you're hitting the mat at... You know, getting thrown from a downgrade who can throw you in 2.3 seconds. You know, it, 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 yeah. There's a reason yeah. that foam is because you ain't getting up if it's not. Judo's got a lot of techniques and it's got a long history and it's they've they've basically devised it using techniques from jujitsu, um, which is completely non-competitive. Um, so you learn, and then you you do the judo that you want to do. Um, so there's something for everyone. I'd say um, if you don't want to compete, you go off and you you sort of practice on the technical aspects and possibly cater for the higher grades. Um, and then for those who want to compete, you you know you you tailor the throw to suit yourself. It's very uh, I wouldn't say it's very rigid. You have to demonstrate a technique that resembles that throw. So you've got say a straight hip throw, Ogoshi. You turn in, you just have to be careful where you put the hands. Now in the contest, you can't actually walk around holding onto the belt like that. But to demonstrate any graining, you just grip, you turn in, you do the throw, and then you do it with your partner on the move and you progress like that and then you work it out. Um, I'd say, again, it's got something for everyone. Um, you know, you can enjoy both bits of it. I mean, in my, my personal experience of judo, I've done technical and competitive judo and I love both aspects of it I mean now I'm sort of veering towards the technical just because I have to grading for me is very difficult competitively just getting opponents but um, no I just like I say it's, it's, there's something in it for everyone you can you, you work to the level that you want to work to yeah um, I think judo is particularly effective for the reason that we were sort of chatting about earlier everything in judo is tested pressure tested the jiu-jitsu that I did for 10 years, the, there was virtually no free fighting, so people learnt techniques with a cooperative partner and they have no way of knowing if that would work with an uncooperative opponent. And judo is effective because you get to practice it with somebody eventually who's trying to stop you doing it. And that's the best way to find out, does it work? Or more importantly, can I make it work? 